What's up, everybody? Robert Sykes. Crystal Loves. Here we are. I want to do a quick intro on what is to come with the YouTube vlog series. So, kind of switching gears a little bit. We did the, uh, I did the keto bodybuilding, both off-season contest prep peak week and post show with the 21-day 4,000 calorie challenge. And I've been missing that daily content. I kind of alluded to this in the last video. So we're switching gears and we're gonna get into powerlifting because Crystal wants to try and get into powerlifting and I wanna be supportive of that and uh, learn something as well since I haven't done that before. So, why powerlifting? Uh, I just like to lift heavy and I, I don't know, I just, I feel like I've had a lot of people come up to me and ask me if that's something that I'm working toward um, and for some reason my body just does really well with an excess amount of weight and I'd like to challenge that so we'll see uh, in a competition I do I guess or a meet yeah a meet yeah. so we've kind of been playing around with it a little bit like these past few weeks you know, we've been moving um, we've been at different gyms so we haven't really dug into anything specifically but we've been kind of playing around with the powerlifting protocol we're going to officially start our program on Monday um, we're going to be using Brian Carroll's 1020 Life Protocol to start with. Just read that book. I'm excited to give it a shot. Um, what do you think about it so far? I like it a lot. It's definitely different than any workout type that we've done, um, which is always a little bit hard to kind of get used to, but slowly but surely I think we will get there, especially like following the protocol pretty strictly. Yeah, I mean, it's very contrasting what I'm used to with the bodybuilding. I mean, we're not supersetting anything. I mean, everything's really measured out. You're going off the numerical numbers. Numerical numbers is kind of a contradiction. Um, and, like, it's much less intense from a, you know, superset, you know, drop set, always moving perspective. But it's, um, I don't know, it's just different. Which is kind of nice from like a filming perspective because I could be doing my set and she's filming or vice versa and it's not like we're missing anything. So that's kind of cool. Um, so we're going to document that. And uh, what else is new? Nothing else is new. I made a keto brick today. I haven't had a keto brick in a while. It's been like two months since I made my last keto brick. So we're going to go ahead and try this on camera. This one is a new base. New ingredients. You gonna try it? You gonna be first to try it? Yeah, a little okay. piece. And again. Hey, you're nice. That's really good. It's been sitting on the counter taunting me for quite some time now. Today. I wanted to, um, I've been changing the recipe quite a bit. But this has been sitting out for how many hours now? Several hours. It's about 77 degrees in our house because she likes it hot. And it hadn't <laughs> melted, so stable at room temperature with this new recipe. It's about 867 calories. I think 40 protein and 60 fat, somewhere in there. Um, less than 10 grams of carbs, total carbs. So, that said, tomorrow we're going to show you around town in Fayetteville, Arkansas. We're gonna go to Whole Foods. Um, we're gonna go to Sam's Club. There's no Costco here. We're gonna go to Sam's Club, check out our new home of a grocery store. And then we're gonna show you the gym. And I'm really excited about the gym because the gym here is awesome, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. It's like it's deserted. Awesome. It's desolate, nobody's ever there. Especially when we go early in the morning. So like, I can use chalk, I can drop weights, I can take my shirt off and flex with the camera and not feel like I'm doing something wrong which is cool. So that's it. We'll catch y'all after a while.